pipeline safety and reliable natural gas transportation service go hand in hand. The pipeline systems that prove to be the most reliable often have the best safety records as well. And generally, a solid record in both areas can be attributed to proactive and experienced operators. Most major long-haul pipeline operators have decades of experience in utilizing technologically advanced and proven methods to minimize the already low risks associated with transporting natural gas under pressure. The efficient and effective movement of natural gas from its point of origin to the markets that value its use requires an extensive and often elaborate transportation system. And the movement of natural gas requires ongoing cooperation between the pipeline system operators and many interested parties, including the general public. With approximately 300,000 miles of long-haul natural gas pipe already in the ground, there's a good chance a pipeline or other important underground utility exists close to you already. Or with increasing demand for cleaner burning energy, one could be built in your area in the future. Part of the cooperation required involves the public's recognition of the presence of pipelines. While most of the long-haul pipeline system is buried underground, there are several visual above-ground indicators of the presence of pipelines and other underground utilities. Those above-ground indicators include pipeline markers at strategic places along the system, compressor stations, metering and regulation equipment, mainline valve sites, and well-defined pipeline corridors that clearly indicate the presence of underground utilities. Operators strive to do their part to minimize operations risks, and they request that the public do its part to simply recognize the presence of pipelines and assist in preventing damage to the pipelines. Pipeline awareness and damage prevention outreach efforts are two key tools utilized by operators. It's vitally important for all stakeholders to realize that long-haul pipes operate under high pressure, many times greater than that required for the average passenger car tire. It is clearly inadvisable to damage a long-haul natural gas pipeline. Please don't dig, probe, blast, or otherwise excavate near underground utilities or allow others to do so. If you're unsure of the presence of underground utilities, Always check for above-ground markers or a clearly defined utility corridor. PHMSA, through their National Pipeline Mapping website, provides pipeline points of contact within your zip code. In addition, always place a phone call to a state or national utility locator service, known as One Call Centers, well in advance of any excavation job. Check the website www.digsafely.com for the toll-free one-call center in your area. It's best to know what's below before you dig or drive heavy construction equipment over a pipeline. The safety of company employees and citizens working or living in close proximity to pipeline, storage, and related facilities is very important to the industry. Many steps are taken, and state, federal, and often intense industry oversight is in place to help companies protect the integrity of their pipeline facilities and minimize the risks associated with pipeline systems. Major incidents that involve serious injury or loss of life are very rare. In fact, the long-haul transportation of natural gas is statistically the safest method of transporting energy largely because of the numerous safety-related steps taken by companies and the fixed and underground nature of the infrastructure. Additional steps taken to prevent damage to the pipeline could include cathodic protection measures for further protection from corrosion. Corrosion is nature's slow chemical destruction of metal, sometimes called rust. During this process, an electric current naturally flows from a metal pipe into the surrounding soil, resulting in corrosion. Cathodic protection utilized by operators is the planned and intentional use of a very low voltage electrical charge placed directly on the pipeline, impeding the flow of electrons from the pipe. This wards off nature's desire to corrode a metal object placed underground. A rectifier induces a low voltage charge into the soil at strategic points along the pipeline, 
forcing anodes or ground beds placed adjacent to the pipeline to deteriorate instead of the pipeline. A single 200-foot ground bed can protect as much as 50 miles of pipeline with the electric current comparable to a flashlight battery. The effectiveness of cathodic protection is tested regularly and adjusted if necessary. PIGs are vehicles inserted in the pipe to perform maintenance and inspection work. They can be more simplistic internal cleaning PIGs or devices with many sensors and data recording equipment to verify the integrity of the pipeline. The ability to clean or internally inspect a pipeline while not disrupting service to customers is very beneficial to pipeline operators. Cleaning tools, or pigs as they're known, because of the squealing sound some made traveling through the pipeline, are used periodically to clean the inside of the pipe of any liquids or minute materials that may have entered the pipe with the natural gas stream. A more sophisticated version of the pig is the inline inspection tool, or smart pig, as it's come to be known. Smart pigs are intelligent robotic type devices that are propelled through pipelines to evaluate the integrity of the pipeline. There are different types of smart pigs providing different inspection services, such as those that detect and pinpoint metal loss on the pipe wall, and those that determine if and where there are points where the pipe is dented or out of round. Pigs and inline inspection tools are launched and received at specially designed above ground facilities on many long haul pipelines. Mainline valves. Large gate or block valves are typically placed every 5 to 20 miles along the pipeline system route for safety and natural gas flow management purposes. While these valves are generally open under normal operating conditions, they can be closed to isolate a section of pipeline from the rest of the system. This would be important in the unlikely event of a leak or fire, where it would be imperative to stop the flow of natural gas to the leak site. Depending on the system, valves are closed using a pressure sensor, manually or with remote capability. Aerial Inspection Patrols Small planes or helicopters often are used to periodically fly above the pipeline corridor to look for such things as unauthorized excavation activity, earth movement, land erosion, and signs of a leaking pipeline. Emergency Response Preparation In the unlikely event of a pipeline emergency, pipeline companies' facilities are designed to be quickly isolated for rapid containment purposes. Companies also have pre-arranged plans with local emergency personnel and periodically conduct emergency drills with these groups. Ground cover. At the time they're buried, long-haul pipelines typically have at least 30 inches of protective soil coverage. But soil erosion or other means of earth movement, such as some farming activities, can alter a pipeline's depth. Don't assume the depth of an existing pipeline. Pipeline operators will locate their lines free of charge to those who need to know their whereabouts. Remember, call before you dig. One call centers. Careless construction and excavation practices are one of the primary causes of pipeline accidents and overwhelmingly the primary cause of pipeline fatalities and injuries. To specifically respond to this potential damage to their facilities, Pipeline companies and most other underground facility operators developed and fund OneCall, a program in which anyone planning on digging, blasting, or otherwise doing excavation or heavy equipment work can call a single number to have the location of underground utilities marked on site in their area before excavation work is started. The service is provided free of charge to the caller, and each state in the United States participates. The system alerts utility companies with facilities in the area, allowing the companies to work with the caller to prevent damage to their facilities. For more information about long-haul natural gas pipelines, please visit the Interstate Natural Gas Association of America website at www.inga.org.